monetary of the health. And he found the population of Machu Picchu was 50%. Men, 50% women. So that means that same theory of that Machu Picchu was a town for the chosen women have been discharged. So it's not valid anymore. What happened after that? So the other people came to here to propose different versions. One of them is that this was built in honor to the king Pachacute, that is to use as his summer resort. So some of the uh, the women that Hiram have found were the concubines of the of these men. So can you imagine women working, lifting all these stones like yeah. in It doesn't make sense, right? No. It's that you were saying that I also agree that this Machu Picchu was built to use as a center, the political, economical, and the social center for controlling the whole valley. When they decide to build over here, it's because that they found the only spot to build a town. Crossing the river, there is not any flat spot. And also, the day length is not the same like on this side. So, and these engineers and architects who choose this spot for the construction, they were very careful because they came searching, walking through the mountains and up the valley, that is to build a town. When they came to here, they found some conditions, especially the material available part of the mountain water source coming from the mountain a uh, salt protection on top of the mountain what else you can find they land so that is for the growing of the crops what else do you need for living in this area water from the mountains Soil, well, con soil conditions and the weather conditions. Yeah. So that means, let me tell you something. Outside of this valley, when the farmers are growing the coca leaves, the percentage of cocaine as part of the leaf is only 8%. But in the surrounding areas, the concentration is 13%. So that means, probably, it was built in order to use, to use as an administrative center for controlling the yield of coca leaves and other crops proper from the jungle. So as they understood that the coca leaf is very important like to supply uh, some nutrients like vitamins, proteins for the people, they understood surrounding this valley they had some enemies. The, the worst enemies that they had at that time were the ants, the people from the jungle. For that reason, they built this town as a kind of citadel, well protected. Actually, the protection of this archaeological site is by the location. 70% using the cliffs and the 30% is thanks to this wall which is coming down from the top to here. As access for Machu Picchu there was just one gate which is up there that we're gonna walk through the gate later. So who lived in this area? Not a king who was a man who was part of the ruling class as a kind of administrator that we call the Kurat. So, and this man was the responsible of the administration and also to supervise of everything how was going in this town because the main concern of this civilization it was to avoid starvation and they built a kind of archipelagos when I'm saying archipelagos they are like kind of small islands in different ecosystems like to grow different crops and for the bartering that is to, that is to get a good balance for the air nourishment so that is one of the important things about this civilization. So I don't believe that it was built as a kind of summer resort because it's on the edge of the kingdom. This is on the border. Can you imagine build a town for your king, but with your enemy living next door? Right, yeah, would make sense. It doesn't make sense. Right? Mm -hmm. Can you bring your king to, the, uh, to one place that the concentration of humidity is 77% to 91%? especially if the person is getting old? Mm -hmm. No, right? So that means this was more functional. We need to understand the special thing of Machu Picchu is the way how it was built and the way how it was used. Not exactly using the speculation that was just to talk with a god or something like that. Right. I'm talking, I'm gonna talk more in the functional aspect. Right. It's the way how they use it. To understand better about how it was built, look at these terraces. Mm -hmm. But actually, the, the, uh, the way how they started the construction of Machu Picchu, it was not from the bottom, it was not from the top to the bottom, it was from the bottom to the top. So how they bring the big stones up there? 
They had no wheel, right? They didn't. They never had the wheel. But when they decided to build the town from the bottom to the top, it was just to push the stones down below that is to use for the construction. Plus, these terraces that is not just for growing the crops. They are working as the anchors, the buttresses of Machu Picchu. They are giving the weather stability. What else they did? They used this, uh, this terrace as a kind of uh, retaining walls, but when they built a terrace, they were very careful. Because imagine that I'm a, a mason, that I want to build the wall. First, I need to build the wall, right? And here's the mountain side. Mm -hmm. What I need to do is to finish with the construction of the wall, and that is to have an empty box using the mountain side and the retaining wall. What happened with this kind of empty box? it was to fill her up with different layers of ground. I'm talking about the spoiled material that came from the construction, like gravel, the small pieces of stone, river sand, llamas manure, and the black soil. That is to make permeable these terraces. They understood if they keep the water, that too much uh, weight of the turf might provoke a pressure, provoking the collapse of the terraces. So, plus the other function, to recycle the nutrients from the top terrace until the last one without using much rotation of the crops. Mm -hmm. That is the other function of these terraces that you see in this area. Mm -hmm. no.